I'm on the Norwegian Escape. I'm going to do a full tour. This is Jason here. I hope you enjoy the tour. I'm going to start the tour off here at the main pool. If we take a look directly behind us, we'll see the stage. You're going to hear live music throughout the day, and they also have events and shows here at the main pool. If we look toward the back, we can see the water slides and the ropes course. The main pool here is pretty cool. There are a couple of hot tubs. Both of them are covered. If we take a closer look at the main pool, you'll notice that people are just hanging out, having a good time, and enjoying the sun. If you look to the right of Waves Bar, you'll see that there are plenty of loungers. Waves Bar is on the main pool deck and the deck above, so you can hang out and have a drink down here at the pool, or you can go up a deck and have some pretty amazing views of not only the ocean, but the main pool deck here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the water slides and the other pool. There are a few different types of water slides on the ship. There is the aqua racer, which is a free fall water slide, which the floor drops right out from underneath you and you just fall. Just hold on to your heart. <laughs> there is a family slide and there is the slide in which you ride a tube. You can either ride a tube for one or you can double up and ride two at a time. Right in front of the water slides, you'll also find the children's water park. More toward the front of the ship on deck 19 is the Vibe Beach Club. This area is exclusive. They offer day and weekly passes. If you're interested in hanging out here, when you get on board, go to guest services and they can help you out. On the first day of the cruise, you can come up here and take a tour if you like. Let's go ahead and take a look at the buffet. This is the Garden Cafe. It is a full service buffet, so it's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. On port days, you can come in here and have breakfast if you're looking to get off the ship really quick. You can also have lunch and a lot of people like to dine in the buffet, especially on seafood night. Now, there are a few ships in the Breakaway class and the Breakaway Plus class, so I'm going to place links to current sailings down below the description of the video. And if you would like to book any of those ships, make sure you give me a call. You'll be glad you did. Cruises are a lot of fun, but cruises are even more fun when you receive discounts on your bookings. When you book a cabin, you want to get the best rate guaranteed. And that's what we offer. And we do this by implementing many different methods. We have our own group space. Norwegian gives us exclusive promotions. And we have our own exclusive agency promotions. So whenever you book directly through us, you are going to receive a discount rate on your cabin. We also monitor cruise rates after you book with us. And through this method, we have saved our clients thousands of dollars. So when you call us, make sure you ask us what promotions are available and what discounts am I going to receive on our cabin. And you will be so glad that you did because like I said, is what's more fun than going on a cruise is saving money on your cruise. Because when you save money on your cruise, you'll just have more money to spend on your family and do more more fun things. Now, to get the best rate guaranteed, and that's what we offer, you must give us a call. These rates are not posted on our website. These are unpublished rates. If you go right past the water slides up a deck, you'll find Margaritaville. It's inspired by the life and lyrics of Jimmy Buffett. It has a pretty cool vibe, nice views, a cozy bar. Check it out when you have a chance. We're going to head more toward the back and check out Spice H2O. Before we do, in the middle of Margaritaville and Spice H2O is the video arcade. This is Spice H2O. As you can see, it's all the way at the back of the ship. It is an awesome place to hang out during the day. There are plenty of loungers, a couple of hot tubs. And if we go all the way up toward where we came in, you're going to find a grotto. It's an excellent place to come in and cool off and then head on back to your lounger and soak up some sun. There's a bar right over here. Spice H2O becomes an entertainment venue at night. There are parties, dances, DJs. It's a pretty cool area to hang out in. And at night, not a lot of people know about it. So make sure you check it out. If you would like a little bit of adventure, check out the ropes course. Beneath the ropes course is the golf course. 
when you're walking on the golf course, you can look up and you can see one of the zip lines. This zip line goes right over the side of the ship. It's fun because this ropes course has multiple zip lines. You'll also want to walk the plank. Boy, is it scary because you're right over the side of the ship. If you'd like to play some basketball or some soccer, they have tournaments, so make sure you check that out as well. We're going to head on down to deck six and check out some of the dining venues. To the right of the mixed bar here is the taste. Keep in mind, we're more toward the back of the ship. We're making our way toward the front. The Taste, fortunately, is a complimentary dining venue. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can order some excellent meals in here. Also, you can go across the way and go to the Saver. The Saver is identical to The Taste with respect to the menu. Right down the way is Teppanyaki. That's the Avachi Grill. The abacha grill is so much fun. The chef cooks the meal right in front of you. It is part of the specialty dining. There is an additional charge for specialty. I'm going to place a link down below the description of the video. Click on the link and it will explain which dining venues are specialty and which are complimentary. We all like to laugh, so check out one of the headliners comedy shows. After that, head on back for dancing and really cool parties. Right across the way from headliners is Le Bistro. It is the French restaurant. It's also part of the specialty dining. As we leave Le Bistro and walk toward the atrium, we'll see the art collection. This is the Atrium Bar. It's a perfect spot to hang out in. A lot of events take place here. You'll see the big screen, which shows movies, events. There's bands, live karaoke, a lot of things happening in this area. You'll also find guest services over here, the Shore Excursions desk. Right over here in the corner, you're going to find the Cruise Consulting desk and the iConnect. The iConnect is where you can log on to the internet. And also on this deck, you're going to find the Super Club, which is an exciting dinner show. Let's head on up to deck seven. Going to take a look at the other venues here. We're going to start off with the theater. Also, keep in mind that if you do happen to book on board at Cruise Next, make sure you give us a call as soon as you get back. You can actually transfer that reservation over to us and we can provide you with additional savings. It's pretty awesome. Okay, right out of the theater, let's take a look at one of my favorite places, which is Oshihan's. And it's one of my favorite places because when I'm on a cruise, I'm active. And when I'm active, I need food. And Oshihan's is open 24 7. And it's got pretty cool views of the atrium if you'd like a beer or a mixed drink head on over to the bar maybe you can come on over here and play a game of darts or a game of pool head on toward the back and try your luck at air hockey or check this out bowling we're gonna go ahead and head on out of Oshihans and take a look at the casino. Remember the theater was at the front. We're headed more toward the back of the ship. If we look down here, we can see the headliners and um, the bistro. We're midship on deck seven. We're gonna walk right on through the casino and take a look at Skyline Bar. Skyline Bar is pretty cool. It's a comfortable place to hang out during the day. At nighttime, there are bands. So at night, it becomes a really big after party location. Check out some of the comfortable places to sit or have a seat at the bar. If you make it here late at night, hopefully you'll remember. <laughs> if we walk down the way here, all the way to the back of the ship, we're gonna go into the Manhattan Room. The Manhattan Room is part of the complimentary dining, so it is included in your cruise fare. Yay! It's a fun place to hang out and have dinner. There is piano playing, saxophones, bands. The music definitely sets the mood. Okay, let's head up a deck and take a look at deck eight. First venues we're going to come across is Moderno Churrascaria and Cagney's Steakhouse. In the middle of both restaurants is the A-List Bar. It's common to meet your party here for a drink before you dine in one of these venues. So to the left is Moderno, the Brazilian Churrascaria. If you have not tried a Brazilian Churrascaria, I highly recommend it. They're pretty cool and they're popping up everywhere now. You can dine out here on the deck if you like. Now to the right of the A-List Bar is Cagney Steakhouse. So if you would like a fine cut of beef, come on in and check it out. Let's check out the rest of deck eight going from back to front. We're first gonna go through all the shops. So if you need a little knickknack, this is a place you're gonna come. 
Also on deck eight, you can enjoy some fine wines at Cellars. You can take that glass of wine out onto the waterfront if you like. The waterfront is really cool. It goes around the back of the ships and the sides. So if you'd like to take a daytime or evening stroll, it is beautiful. I notice a lot of people like to come out here and just find a comfortable spot and relax. Right across from Cellars is Pincho Tapas Bar. Come on in and grab yourself one of their delicious cooked on the grill tapas. Then maybe head on over to the Sugarcane Mojito Bar and grab yourself a delicious mojito. Right in between the Tapa Bar and the Mojito Bar is Bayamo. It's an upscale Latin eatery. Let's make our way more toward the front of the ship. We're going to take a look at Tobacco Road Liquor Bar. A lot of people like to come in here and hang out after a show. It's got a pretty cool bar. There's lots of couches. There is also the Umidor Cigar Room. You can also smoke cigarettes there as well. Out here, there is the five o'clock somewhere bar. But if we go back inside, we can go into the five o'clock somewhere bar. And it is an entertaining place to come at night and watch bands and experience the margarita lifestyle on board. Right across the hall is La Cucina. That is the Italian restaurant. You can dine inside or out on the waterfront. Let's take a look at the District Brew House. They offer 50 different bottled beers, 24 different beers on tap. Norwegian has awesome promotion, awesome beverage promotions. So if you get the drinking package, you can drink all you want. So this is an excellent venue to hang out in, especially if you have one of those packages. When you give us a call, ask us about the drink package. We'll let you know how it works. If you'd like just a little bite to eat, an appetizer, check out the Food Republic. It has excellent views of the front of the ship of the ocean, so you can get one of these tables all the way over to the side by the window. The cool thing is, is that everything you order is on an iPad, so all you have to do is sit down, place your order, and wait for the food to come out. It's really cool. Well, let's take a look at the Haven. The Haven is a private area for guests who are staying in Haven Suites. The Haven area offers a lot of amenities. It has this private area, a private bar, restaurant, pool area. You also get escorted to your cabin when you check in by the concierge staff. Exclusive dining in the private Haven restaurant. Priority embark and debarkation and reservations. And usually you get all five perks included in a Haven cabin. What I recommend is that you give us a call and ask us what perks are included in your Haven suite. Remember, whatever Norwegian includes, we also include. We get the same exact deals that you get through Norwegian, except just remember that we're going to give you that exclusive agency discount on top of it. And if you've already booked directly through Norwegian, that's okay. You can still give us a call. We can still provide you with a discount. Up here is the Haven Courtyard Sun Deck. And as you can see, there's not very many people up here, so it's private. If you'd like to work out while you're on board, head on over to the gym. There is treadmills, Stairmasters, free weights, machines. And then down the hall here, you'll find the Mandara Spa. Right when you walk into the Mandara Spa over to the right is the salon. So ladies, if you would like to get your hair done, your nails, that is available here in the salon. Men, you can also head on over to the barbershop and get a haircut or a shave. Here in the spa, all the way at the end, you'll find the thermal suites. I highly recommend the thermal suites. I always get a pass. If you'd like to get a pass to the thermal suites, you can do that at the entrance of the spa. There is a thalasso therapy pool. There is a cold room. There's a salt room. You can also go into the steam room. And if you like, there is not one, but two saunas. Thank you for joining me on the tour. I'm Jason Newquist with cruisesit.com. Remember to get the best rate guaranteed. Give us a call. Our number is down below. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.